creating a shrink wrap feature. In the first task, we create a new part in the assembly. First, we disable all datum display types. Then in the model tree, we click Settings, Tree Filters, and enable the Features checkbox. We then click OK. We click Create, and we ensure that Part and Solid are selected, and then click OK in the Create dialog box. We click Browse in the Creation Options dialog box. We double click our Start Part, and click OK. We then right click in the graphics area and select Default Constraint and click Complete Component. In this task, we add a shrink wrap feature using the outer shell collection method. So in the model tree, we right click Part 0001 and select Activate. We then click Shrink Wrap and in the dashboard, click the Subset button. In the component chooser, we select the first listing of the 518 bolt, press shift, and right click connecting rod, and we select ignore. We then click OK to close the component chooser. And note that the selected components are ignored during the creation of the shrink wrap feature. Now in the dashboard we select the References tab and notice that here you can select geometry to always include or never include. You can also select curve chains and datum features to include in the feature. In this case we'll keep all the default settings. In the dashboard we select the Options tab and we select Exclude then Shrink Wrap. We edit the quality level to 5 and in the alert message window we click OK. We select the auto hole filling checkbox and select the ignore small surfaces checkbox. We then edit the threshold to 2 and click complete feature. In this task we open part 0001 and observe the shrink wrap feature. So in the model tree, we right-click part 0001 and select Open. From the in-graphics toolbar, we select Wireframe from the Model Display Types drop-down list. And notice that the feature consists of surfaces copied from geometry in the assembly. In the model tree, we right-click Shrink Wrap ID 24 and select Delete. We then click OK and we select Shading from the Model Display Types drop-down menu. And click Close from the Quick Access Toolbar. In this task, we add a shrink wrap feature using Auto Collect All Solid Surfaces. So in the Model Tree, we right-click Part 0001 and select Activate. We click Shrink Wrap from the Get Data group, and in the dashboard, click Subset. In the component chooser, we select the first listing of the 518 bolt, press shift, and right click connecting rod part. We then select ignore and click OK in the component chooser. In the dashboard, we click outer shell and select auto collect all solid surfaces. We then click yes in the exclude internal components message window. On the Options tab, we click Solidify Resulting Geometry and click Complete Feature. In this task, we create a cross-section to verify that the shrink wrap feature is solid. So in the Model Tree, we right-click Part 0001 and select Open. From the in-graphics toolbar, we click View Manager, we select the Sections tab, and we click New, Planar, and type A for the name. 
we then press enter. And in the model tree, we select the datum plane right. And then click complete feature. So we can see that the model is in fact solid through the cross section. So we click close. And in this task, we edit the source models and update the shrink wrap feature. So in the model tree, we right click cylinder part and select activate. We expand cylinder part, right click bosses and select edit. And then we edit the dimension value from 51 to 71. and we click Regenerate. So now in the model tree we right click part 0001 and select Open. We then right click the shrink wrap feature and select Update Shrink Wrap and click Yes in the warning message window. And we notice that the length of the bosses in the shrink wrap feature have updated according to the cylinder model change. This completes the demonstration.